Uh, I got mixed emotions on that because Shug knows a lot. He knows a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm going like, Shug got a lot of info on a lot of people. And sometimes I just think that we just need to leave, let sleeping dogs lie. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I want to just ask you about him doing that new podcast that he's doing with Dave Mays. Like, um, he he basically has a relationship with Cat Williams because he ended up bringing him on the show right after the Shannon Sharp interview that went crazy. The most viral interview ever on YouTube right now. Ever to be on YouTube. Passed up Joe Rogan, which was number one for a long time. Um what do you think about him doing the podcast? Uh, does it bring any validity to anything that's going on out here? And you know what I mean. And and is it something that you feel is good for him? Uh, I got mixed emotions on that because Shug knows a lot. He knows a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm ain't gonna lie. Shug got a lot of info on a lot of people. And sometimes I just think that we just need to leave, let sleeping dogs lie. You know what I'm saying? And I know people doing it for the clout and for making money and stuff, but you know, um, I just think sometimes we just need to just not do it. You know, just just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Just let it lie. I mean, one thing I love about them old school people from Louisiana and you know my family, and they ain't tell you, they ain't say nothing. They ain't talk about nothing. They kept their lips quiet. You didn't find out to two generations that your grandma, and your grandpa were cousins. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm just, I'm just but you know what I'm saying? But you know, you just, you know, like, you know, it's like, you know, you find out, oh, that wasn't so-and-so baby. That really was, you know what I'm saying? That was my sister. My sister was my mama. You know what I'm saying? Or something like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my grandma raised me, but my sister was really my mama, you know, stuff like that. So. It's called double kin. Yeah, but no, what I'm saying, but they kept their mouths quiet. Right. You know, you used to get, remember, you used to get that, that talk, what will go on in this house, stay in this house. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You keep, you keep your stuff here. You don't go out there telling our business what's going on. And that's what used to happen. But now everyone just wants to. So, you know, and I, I understand he's probably frustrated in there. He probably, you know, he's so used to having freedom. Do what he want to do. You know, he almost got locked up all them times and he got free. I'm pretty sure he was just knew he was going to get out this time. Yeah. You know, so um, with him doing that, um, with Cat Williams, I'm going to tell you, and I hope Cat gets to see this, I admire and love Cat Williams. Even after he t dissed all those people? Let me tell you, Cat's always been real. Always been a real person. So you think everybody knew, that he talked I, I about remember, deserved I it? I remember when Cat... I'm when asking Kat you a question. Had, what? Well, you, you gotta... This is what people forget. Cat didn't go on and ask, tell Shannon, put me on your show. Cat went on the show because people were talking about him and he was just defending himself. People don't realize that. We keep, we keep forgetting that. He went on there because people were saying stuff about him, so he wanted to make it right. He wanted to come on and be like, let me set, since you want to tell my narrative, let me set this record straight. Wow. That's what Cat was doing. And the reason why I have respect for Cat, and I know Cat going to get mad for me saying this, but Cat's helped my family out personally. Oh. Personally. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't have to. But they looked out for him, and he looked out for them. And he looked out for them when they needed him most. Wow. And... There's a lot of entertainers that, I ain't gonna lie, y'all know, a lot of entertainers that slept on my couch. I have people that I've actually helped slept on my couch, help food, everything. My boys, my boys will tell you, I've done that for a lot of people in the industry, and not even in this industry, but I've done it for people. And I didn't do it for clout chasing. I didn't do it because I felt like you and my homie, we, you know, we, we in the same industry. We have to look out for each other. Did many of them do the same for me? No. A lot of them didn't. A lot of them didn't even say, hey, Deuce, I'm with this record company now. I'm doing, oh, you want it? You, hey, let me get you on here. There have been some people that have. You know, but majority of them that have helped, that helped, they didn't come back and say, hey, let me pull you up. Let me, I, I have people that I helped that didn't even go, hey, Deuce, I know I didn't pay you no rent. Well, I live with you for five months, but, you know, hey, here's, let me just give you something just to, just to what you call it. You know what I'm saying? I got a brother, one thing, I got a, I got a partner. Um, I'm, I'm going to shout him out. His name is Voice Rogers. Voice was at the Hammer Camp. You know, he used to sing. He, he was with the Homeboy Choir. He did all that stuff. And he like my big, he like my brother. And what happened is, you know, when Voice needed something, I was there for him. Hold on one second. Voice Rogers was there. By Cat, right? Yeah. No, no. This is Voice. Um, 
He takes me, he takes me one day he takes me out to eat. Get whatever you want. I said, oh no, I got, and I said, I'm only gonna get, it's on me. And I'm not used to that. Oh. Okay. Um, I was buying, buying some stuff. I got that. No, nah, voice, no, I'm cool. No, I got it. And it, it was hard for me to accept it. And he came to me and he said, I want you to take this. And I want you, he took, went and took my mom. My mom was like a mom to him too. He went and took my mother out to eat and, you know what I'm saying? And just, just you know what I'm saying? And bought, you know, just, and I was like, why are you doing that? And I had forgot. He said, because when I was down, you was there for me. So why wouldn't I come back and be there for you? Wow. And I agree. And, and do that. And it just. But so Kat did that too. That's what so you So that's saying. what I'm saying. So you don't find many brothers like that. That actually, like, those people are real. They Kat, have comedians that, man, that weren't listen. making a lot of money. And you, they're all right. A girl walks up and just gives you. A, 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 a bill gives you an envelope with money in it. Boosie, Who Boosie does said that? that when he came home, Cat Williams came and gave him $15,000. But I'm saying, but who does that? And he does not like, let me tell you, I was there at the star with him when he gave it, when they gave the star to um, Melba Moore. I was there. Wow. I'm the one that gave her that big roses. And I came. And when I seen him, you know, I didn't want to walk up on him and be like, hey, Cat Williams, you know, because you know he has boundaries. You know, he's, you know, very smart guy, very smart. You know what I'm saying? And so I seen him and I just was like, hey, what's up? And he was so, you could tell that he really didn't want all that attention on him that he did that. You know, giving her the star. Um, I knew Melba, Melba Moore. Her and my grandma were in Pearly together. You know what I'm saying? She's like an auntie, love her. She's a legend. She deserved to star years, way years ago. And we were trying, people were, we were trying to raise money, but he just came in and just was like, and at first I asked, I said, well, I didn't know that Cat knew Melba. He don't. He didn't know Melba. No, he just, he heard about it. He knew who she was. He was like, this woman's, she's been in this industry all this time. She deserves her flowers. And he just said, here you go. All those other people that talked about Cat, I ain't really, unless they're getting kickbacks or they're getting some tax write-offs. I, I mean, he doesn't even talk about what he does. But all them other people that were talking about Cat, they always talk about what they do. It's what I did in the community. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Cat just does it and walks away. Who does that? People people don't do that anymore. Wow. Everybody so always wants to get recognition for what they we do. We gotta buy them something else. We'll get something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So so um and then when my family had a little tragedy and he came there and stuff like that, I mean, he didn't have to. Wow. He could have just stayed. He's can't, not he could have stepped like away. No yes, that's you know, I have so much respect for him. Um, you know, just to do something like that. You have so many entertainers that could do that don't. So I don't know why they get mad at him for telling his truth. Um, I'll be honest with you. I felt my camera's off, so I can't between talk. me and you, I felt like he was telling my story. I have a I have a I have a comedian friend who's who uh, you know it's like you know I call him a boo thing. <laughs> Her name is Hope Flood, and um, she's um, um, she ain't my boo, but you know what I'm saying if I had a boo, that would have been her. You know what I'm saying I love her to death, and uh, we argue like we are married sometimes. But she's helped me in my career so much. You know I did the J. Anthony Brown. You know I had that room due to her, and when I first heard it, I thought about her. And I called her and I said, what do you think about this? And she said, I felt like he was speaking for me as well. Mm -hmm. And I really felt like he was speaking to, about her and me. You know what I'm saying? Because she's helped so many people. And, you know, it's time for her to have her, it's time for her to get her flowers as well. Right. And, um. I got a question. So, you've done a lot of interviews, right? Mm-hmm. Is there one question that you wish that an interviewer would ask that one have not asked yet? One thing that I wish someone would have said to me? Would have asked you. Oh, man, you're going to give me all teary eye now. Go um, ahead. 
how did you survive this? How did you survive all these years going through the things that you've been through? The ups, the downs. And nobody's asked you that before? No one's ever asked me really like, Lamar. Because no one's, because everybody sees me as success. They don't see that it's not success. It's just me working. You know what I'm saying? And when I get people that hate on what I do, I don't understand it because I'm working hard. This ain't, I ain't got a lot of money. When I get up on stage, you think I do because I give you 110%. But that's just my upbringing. So how have you, how have you survived it? God, one day, one day at a time. Um, I feel like, I feel like, I still to this day feel like when I signed my contract with Hammer, I always remember I went home. And I remember my mother told me this. She said, and I told you guys this before on the show. If your spirit does not feel right signing that contract. Then don't do it. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. My spirit didn't feel right. But you still did it. But I did it because I wanted, my, I wanted to please my boys that I was with. Because they were like, man, we've been trying to do this for seven years. If this is an opportunity. Come on, come on, let's do it. And I went against it. I went against that. That's why I tell people, when a little voice speaks to you, listen to it. And I didn't. I get home. I open up the door. My mother looks at my face. My mother said, well, how'd it go? And for some reason, before I could say anything, my mother knew I already signed it and said, you signed, didn't you? And the first thing she said was, let's pray. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. That's very powerful. They have her, my grandma, we all prayed. We prayed over it. So that covering Lord, helped. And, and, and I feel like to this day, that covering helped. Helped. Mm -hmm. And helped me manage. You know, I got two boys in prison. I could have been there. You know, I got I got another boy that that's why I want to do this. That's why I want to do my unsung. I, I got another boy that don't ever want to do music ever again in life because he feels that the powers that be hammer and the record company, that they just threw us away as trash. I got one member that don't even want people to know he was a part of the group. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.